Hey guys, how's it going? Today we will be recreating the logo you see on the screen. Emmy Edizoni, used in Italy by a publishing company and designed by Salvatore Gregorietti. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And this is a easy, simple tutorial. On the right hand side, you are seeing the one I recreated. On the left hand side, you are watching the original one. Let's go ahead and get started. File, new, to create a new document. I'm going to go with print letter. I like to do landscape. Go to file. If you're going to use the original one, you don't have to file place. Place it. Click the letter S to activate the scale tool. Click enter. And I uniformly scaled it by 800%. Click OK. Rename this logo. Create a new layer using your rectangle tool. Give it a different color other than black. From the center of the original logo, hold Alt and Shift and make a square roughly the same size as our original logo. You will notice that it does extend past a little bit, so we're going to extend it. Switch the fill and the stroke. Give it a stroke of three. Align your stroke to the inside. Now go ahead and click Object, Expand Appearance. Using a line, your line segment tool, click from one side to the other to make a straight line, holding Shift, give it a stroke of three. Go to Object, Expand, Expand Fill and Stroke. So now we have our expanded line. Go ahead and toggle the visibility of your original logo for now. Change the color of this line. Align it to the top of your square. All right? You can even select both of them. Click one more time on the blue square to make it the key object and click vertical align top. Do the same holding Alt and Shift, align it manually, or you can select all of it. Click on the blue one more time to make it the key object and vertical align bottom this time. Now we're going to make, or we are going to need a total of one, two, three, four, five copies on the inside of the square. So hold Alt and Shift and make some copies. Does not matter if they're evenly spaced for now, as we will be taking care of that. Now select your green lines only. On this drop down menu, go to Align to Selection and you're going to Vertical Distribute Center. These align them equally throughout. And now with your green line selected, go ahead and group them hitting Control G. We won't need this for now. We're going to do the same process. Make another line. Give it a stroke of three. This time it's going to be a vertical line. Go to object, expand, fill in stroke. Give it a different color. Align to the left hand side of the square now.
do the same with the right and make five copies on the inside. Select your blue lines only. If it's hard to select the blue lines only, you can click on one object, you can go to select, you can go to same and fill color. And it's going to select everything on the canvas with the same fill color. Now, this time you're going to go to the drop down menu, align to selection, and you're going to horizontal distribute center. Hit control G to group them. And now we have our two groups. You can take your square, bring it to the top of the group. Now we're going to get rid of some stuff. Before I do that, I am going to make a copy of this just in case we mess up. Holding your shape builder tool. We are going to get rid of all of the outside stuff, all of the noise. We probably should have extended past this a little bit. It's okay. I'm holding control as I scroll with my mouse to, instead of go up and down, I can go horizontal. And I'm holding alt with my shape builder tool to get the minus Okay, now you can toggle the visibility of the blue square on top for now. I hit Control A to select all. Using my Shape Builder tool, I am going to get rid of some stuff. This is what I'm going to keep. Instead of joining it by drawing a line across, I'm just going to go to my Pathfinder and go to Unite. I'm going to go to Object, Compound Path, Release, Object, Compound Path, Make. Now we have our logo. We do need to round the corners. So before we round the corners, we do need to get rid of some extra anchor points to, to round them better. And I will fast forward through this part. Now that we have our anchor points deleted, you can see it looks clean in terms of anchor points. There's no extra ones that we don't need. One technique I like to use here is selecting only my outside anchor points, giving those a, a curve. I'm going to go with about 15 and then selecting what is our inside anchor point. And giving those a curve uh, of roughly the same size. You, if we give it the same curve, you can see that the width right here is larger than what we need it to be. So I'd like to eyeball it. And that looks pretty clean right there. And there you have it. That is our logo. Don't forget to object, compound path, release, object, compound path, make. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see some more content like this, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, tell a friend. If you have any suggestions as to what logo I should remake next, leave a comment, send a message. As always, I hope you learned something new today. Until next time, have a good one.